I'm definitely not focused at all. Hey, welcome back to Wood to Art, and today we're going to be answering a pretty common question, which is how do we know how much resin to use? So it's going to be a, a two-part video, which is covering one subject of each of uh, flood coat, like, you know, the epoxy bar top glazes that people are doing, and then also how to figure out deep pour, you know, how to figure out that volume, because, you know, it could be two gallons, it could be 16 gallons for all we know. First one that we're going to go over is going to be how to figure out how much we need for a flood coat. Now on the sacrificial layer, uh, we'll call it the sealer layer. Sealing layer. The sealing layer doesn't need that much. You're just trying to get it to absorb into the pores of the wood, any small cracks, uh, just tiny little defects. Because what will happen is, if you just try to go for the flood coat and you mix up your eight ounces, you're gonna waste it because there's always gonna be a couple spots on there that are just gonna keep popping bubbles and you're only, you can only mess with it for so long until you gotta take your hands off and just let it cure. And then you're left with little bubble piles and you gotta sand it all the way back down. So it's easier just to mix up a small amount of resin and just get that over with sand back, just like you saw in that video, and then go ahead and do your flood coat. So for the ceiling layer, generally speaking, you just need about, honestly, like two ounces per square foot is all it takes. So two ounces square foot. Now, a square foot is easy to figure out, is 12 inches by 12 inches and divide by 144. Let's say we got a table. I'll just go ahead and draw a very rough looking rectangle here. Now let's say this table is 32 inches by 96 inches. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is take 32 times 96 equals 3,072 square inches. Yes, square inches. And we're going to divide by 144 to convert to square feet. So 3,072 divided by 144 is 21.33. So that gives you 24 square feet. So if we are mixing two ounces per square foot, 24 square feet, that is 48 ounces. So seems like a lot, but a lot of that's gonna absorb deep. Don't just spread it around, get it wet, and then push it off or just leave it be. There's gonna be spots of that wood that's drier than others and it's just gonna suck that stuff inside. So just pay attention to it and keep pushing it around until you feel like it's all saturated pretty evenly and it's not absorbing in weird spots. So now that we know we got 24 square foot, we did our 48 ounces per square foot ceiling layer. We went ahead and sanded it and got it cleaned up and ready for the flood coat, which is the final shell. So we're in our flood coat. We got 24 square feet. There's a minimum amount that you gotta use, otherwise you're gonna end up with dimples. There's surface tension things that happen, like minute dust particles will make the epoxy wanna pull away from different areas. So you gotta have a certain amount on top for it to really fight against that and uh, level out. So the minimum is eight ounces per square foot. So we just do eight times 24 is 192 ounces. Now, depending upon the size of containers that you have to mix in, you may have to have a friend help you mix that up and then you guys just pour like, you know, kind of in the middle, but on your own side of the tables and then quickly spread that stuff around, get the edges wet, keep on trucking. Now that stuff you don't want to push off when it's done. You want to leave as much on it as possible um, and just flood off what you have to to get the edges coated and it'll be good to go after that. So that pretty much covers it. It's not that hard, but a lot of people get lost. If you guys got any other questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments about different math problems when it comes to woodworking or epoxy work. Um, and we'll do our best to answer them. See you next time.